Ellis, and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for a much-anticipated main event. Twelve rounds of heavyweights, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Remember, Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. So the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. David Hayes got speed. He can move. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful he doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Still not moving enough. Move, move. Oh. Able to dismiss that body shot. Body shot lands, it was the right. Able to cover up that gut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Not much action as he just ties up. Scoring with the right hand by David Hay. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. He missed with that headshot. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Flush right hand to the body. The body snatcher's putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. All right. Here we go, round two is underway. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Come on! Good scoring shot, it was a straight right. 
David Hayes' blocking ability is doing well for him there. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the body snatcher. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. The body snatcher's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. to the head, the right hand landed. Headshot lands, was a hook. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. It's okay, let's go. David Hayes Take rocked all of a Take sudden. Now each man has stunned the other. Brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Stay away from those. A very fan-friendly round, but a headache for the judges. How do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other? Well, this is where you have to be a good judge. You have to be a professional judge. You have to use the information that's there. Who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other? And who hurt the other guy a little more? Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round, the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. The body snatcher's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Carries that punch hey, away. That nice go. work, the left hand to the head. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Flush right hand to the head. Keep moving, keep moving. And he's holding. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. Good job by David Hay, just staying sound defensively, able to block that punch. The body snatcher's right hand scores well. 
Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. David Hayes coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Last 10 seconds of round number three. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. To the body. Where's your hook? Come on, now. you're strong in here. You need to hook to the body. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up on your punches. I want to see those combos. Combos. Much better. Much better. It was good. The Body Snatchers enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Well placed, straight right hand. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Really frustrating his opponent now. The body snatcher so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now. If you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. He just looks exhausted to me right now. David Hayes' accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And he just holds on there. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Side to side, move your head. 
this round is in the books. And it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. You have to be busy. This guy is beating the shit out of him. You have to throw. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Nice work. Nice work. Good job protecting himself. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the Punch. sense you'd agree with him. Punch. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Relax, relax. Hook was well off the mark. Now hugging on the Hook, inside. Keep it up. Come on, come on, right there. Unload! Unload! No punches! David Hayes missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Halfway into round number five here. Left and right, left and right. Pace yourself. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. The body snatchers making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Keep moving. Keep moving. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. some good defense after a lack of it cost him. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Nice run. That was good. Keep that up. We have this one. You got to give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time, okay? So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, the bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's going to have to do a Houdini to get out of this. Focus! Back to the body. 
David Hayes, almost as if he's scared to throw punches right now, that he's just thinking strictly about defense after being tagged earlier in this fight. Well, he needs some help in his corner. That's where a good corner comes in right now. They have to straighten his mind out right now. They have to give him another way of attack. They have to give him a plan B. Good job! Reaching the halfway point of round number six. is damaging. Keep moving. Get out there. <laughs> Work the body, kid. Body shots. defense of his own he got away from that punch I don't like this at all Teddy I mean it's one thing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe. it's another thing to never even move you got to show some movement maybe he's breaking down maybe he's already spit the bit you know if he falls down everybody in the world is gonna know that he let himself fall down he gave up but there's different ways different phases of giving in and this might be one of those phases to start the seventh round. The body snatchers back to business right now. The entire first half of this fight completely went his way. Get your hands up. <laughs> Unload! Unload! More punches! Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. David Hayes found that groove. All of a sudden, Teddy, he found the answer. Yeah, well, what happened is he made a little adjustment a couple rounds ago. He started countering a little bit, and now even the aggressive part of the fight is working for him. Let Good go. shift in momentum by him. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The moving. old great Willie Pep made him miss, made him pay.
Now he ties up there. Gotta see those coming. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Good movement. Head movement. You want this fight? Because listen to me, man. If you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches at me. Listen, he's pick his jab. That's right. Pick his jab. When he throws the jab. David Hayes down on your scorecard, Teddy, but even more problematic than that is just look at him. As we start this eighth round, you see a worn, torn fighter. This is a guy who just doesn't appear to have much left in the gas tank. Well, it's time for a pep talk. It's time for a little, you know, man-to-man -man talk in the corner right now for the trainer to ask him a question point blank. Do you want to be a future champion? You came to me. You asked me to make you a fighter. I didn't come to you. Now act like one. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. David Hayes' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Work the body, kid. Body shots. The halfway point of round number eight. that accuracy missed with the headshot David Hayes work rate is very high I looked at the punch stats and you can see that he's a busy guy I don't think he's an effective guy though a lot of these aren't landing well you have a reason to think that Joe guess what I agree they're not landing seemingly in control and now maybe out of control after getting hit there but what you just said Joe that is really what's the enemy of his right now is Nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up. And bang. You got this. You got this one. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. There is hardly a doubt as to what this result will be. I know anything can happen, but all that's happened all night long is one guy punishing the other. Well, it looks like Kobe Bryant on a good night when that basket is 20 feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? There you go. The body snatchers bounces back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. 
That was a fine block by David Hay. Showing you some defense there with the block. Back to the body. Pace yourself. Way through the ninth round. <laughs> he missed that uppercut. The body snatcher's got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot, but his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there, but his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Not able to land the headshot. Oh. Oh. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. round comes to an end and it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time they're out there just going through the motions not firing off punches hey if you don't move your hands you don't throw punches it's hard to win rounds all right listen you need to create more punches okay slip this punch and throw us straight right down the middle Listen, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up on that jab and finish off with a hook, okay? One. One. And now they start round number 10. Back and forth exchange. David Hay. <laughs> Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Uppercut. You see him holding on. We've reached the halfway the point of round 10. Body shots. Gets rid of that body shot. Oh. 
Punch! Punch! Relax, relax. <gasps> Unload! Unload! More punches! <sighs> oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good defense, just covering up down low. Overhand right can be so effective. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. Now you gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. This is going to be a fascinating finish. Yes, he's trailing on your scorecard through 10 rounds. But if you ask me right now who's going to win this fight, I would take him. Even though he's down on the scorecards, I would take him. Yeah, I would agree with you. You know, they have different looks. One guy looks like a guy who Thank just yourself. wants to get through it. And the other guy looks like he's going to run right through the tape. He looks like the winner. Scores well with a straight right. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Halfway through this 11th round. Gets rid of that effort. He just missed that shot up top. And he ties up on the inside. Locks that belt line well. The body snatchers clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. Nice. 
Nice. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the take. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was. And whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Boxing smart. Done. You had in that round. They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Good job staying away from the danger there. Body shots! Good way to protect the midsection. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Unload! Unload! More punches! David Hayes showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. Able to get rid of that one. Just a minute to go in this bout. Hate yourself. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Focus. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, and now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't thrown back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's send it up to the ring to find out. So the judges see it a draw. Now, just talking to you throughout the broadcast tonight, you felt it should have gone one way. I think he should go out and buy some lottery tickets because he is as lucky as I can think. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.